Right, so here we continue again. Uh, must be part four now that we are solving this entire past paper together. Uh, paper 43, 2018, May, June. I'm Mr. John from explainingmaths.com. Uh, so let's uh, have a look again. So uh, I, I think I, I finished by saying this is clearly a 3D trick question. It's a cuboid, 8 by 4 by 5. And they say, first of all, write down the number of planes of symmetry of this cuboid. Well, that's maybe uh, for one point, just something you want to remember. A cuboid has three planes of symmetry. Okay, let me get that pencil away. Good. Um, calculate the angle between a diagonal AR. Now, this is the question I would expect. Yeah? The diagonal through the body. Let me just draw that one. AR. Oh, there we go. Uh, not a very good diagonal, but okay. We got the uh, uh, the idea. Uh, the angle between AR and plane BCRQ. Now, that is interesting because usually they will ask for the angle between that diagonal and the base. And then you would do that diagonal... And the base, you would go with this diagonal, right? And then it's the angle over there. But now they're asking the angle between this diagonal and BCRQ. So this plane. So make sure then that you look at this triangle. That is the right angle triangle to look at now. Again, you go for that diagonal. And this is the angle that you're looking for. So let me just draw that triangle over here. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is for four points. You got some time to do it. So this is A, that is B, that will be the 90 perpendicular degree angle, 90 degree angle, it's 8, it's R, and this is theta, okay? And I say theta, not theta, like the people from the island in the UK, no, I say theta, because that's how I learn to pronounce it. Um, which is hilarious, according to some of my students, but okay, that's, that's fine. Um, how can I find theta? Well, I can use so katoa, a normal trigonometry, so so katoa, but I only at the moment have one side, I know eight. So I need to find either AR or BR, and then I can continue. I would say BR is easiest to find. Look, it is in this triangle, the hypotenuse, so BR would be the square root of 4 squared plus 5 squared. So do you guys see that? So it's that on the side, 4 squared plus 5 squared, which is, uh, what is that, 25 plus 16, 41, square root of 41. I'm just going to leave it as square root of 41. I'm not going to write those decimals down yet because I'm not done. I have the opposite, I have the adjacent. So the tangent of theta is opposite, 8 over adjacent, square root of 41. I'm going to grab my calculator. So do 8 divided by square root of 41 equals, and then I shift tangent of my answer. And then I get 51.32655 degrees. So 51.3. Fantastic. Whew. It's quite, quite exhausting, isn't it? Doing an entire paper for two and a half hours. So Make sure you practice that a couple of times before you sit your actual exam. Okay, we are now at question seven, and I see this this cylinder, this tube, and the radius is 1.5. And they're probably going to ask me something about volume or surface area. Let's find out. For four points, water flows through a cylindrical pipe at a speed of 8 centimeters per second. So that is interesting. What does that mean? That every one second, let's say the, the water is being pushed out eight centimeters. Eight centimeters of water is being pushed out every second, okay? Because of the, the pressure, the water pressure, eight centimeters every second, okay? The radius is 1.5 and it's always full of water, yeah. Calculate the amount of water that flows through the pipe in one hour. And one hour, as you know, are 3,600 seconds. Eh? 60 times 60, 60 minutes, 60 seconds in a minute. 3,600 seconds. Okay. So if I find out the volume of the water that goes through that pipe every one second and multiply that by 3,600, then I'll have the amount of water um, 
in an hour that goes through that pipe. By the way, they want it in liters, so uh, careful there at the end. So, what is the volume per second? So, the volume of a cylinder at cross-sectional area, pi r squared, okay, so pi squared, times the height, times it by 8. That is for every second. And then we're talking about centimeters cubed, right? Because this is a centimeter, and that's a centimeter. So, this is per second, times it by 3,600 to get it per hour. So there we go, 1.5 squared times uh, pi. I'm putting it in my calculator now, by the way, can you see? There we go, times eight times 3,600. And I really hope that you are working together with me at the moment, right? That you're doing the same question as I am, not just looking at me. Let's do it together. Maths is not a spectator sport, I'm sure your teacher once told you. Anyway, that's a lot of centimeter cubes. It's not liters yet. Yeah? How many centimeter cube in a liter? A thousand. Yeah, one centimeter cube is the same as a milliliter. A thousand milliliters in a liter. A thousand centimeter cube in a liter. So I'm going to divide that by one thousand, and then we have. Uh, so I'm just going to say divide by a thousand. So we have uh, two hundred and three point five seven five liters. So 204 correct to three significant figures. Beautiful. What a, what a, what a, what a great question um, to do. And now I look at question B. So that's separate. So we have left the cylinder, but it's still about menstruation. I see a cone. I see a sphere with X and a hemisphere with Y. And they're probably going to ask me to find X and Y. Now let's find out. The diagram shows three solids, the base... The cone is 6, and the slant height is 12, and the slant height is that, you know, this height over there. Um, the radius of the sphere is X, and the hemisphere is Y. Yeah, the total surface area of each solid is the same. Ah, so that uh, is how I can connect, you know, the surface area of one uh, solid to the next one, because they are equal. Show that, it's a show that question. So I'm going to use that in my next um, uh, question. But show that the total surface area of the cone is 108 pi. So they leave it in terms of pi. And they tell you that the curved surface area is found by pi RL. Excuse me. So what is the total surface area then? So that's going to be pi RL, right, which is the curved part of the cone. But it also has a base, right? It has a base here. So plus pi r squared, that's going to be the surface area of the cone, which is pi times 6 times 12 plus pi times 6 squared, 72 pi plus 36 pi. You want to be quite, quite complete with your workings, especially when it's a show that question, right? So that is 108 pi. So don't too quickly write down that answer because you've got to show it's 108 pi really clearly. And this is great. Find the value of x and the value of y. Well, um, they give you the surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. So the surface area of the sphere, 4 pi x squared, because the radius is x, and that equals 108 pi because they said that the total surface area of each solid is the same and that's why it's a show that question so you can still continue uh, if you if you if you can't do part a you can still do the second part okay let's find out now what is x well you can divide both sides by pi let's start with that so i've got 4x squared equals 108 divide both sides by 4 uh, so x squared is, what is that, 27? Oh, I'm going to check. Sorry, guys, it's been a long day. 108 divided by 4 equals 27. So x is the square root of 27. Square root of answer. And that will be 5.20. Uh, 5.20. Actually, let's not be lazy. Let's write down all those decimals. And then we round to 5.20. Oh, you can't even see that. There we go, 5.20. Uh, then to find y, 
Hmm, interesting. Uh, because Y is a hemisphere, right? Half a sphere. So to find the area, let me just do this, of half a sphere, that would be 4 pi r squared. So 4 pi y squared divided by 2. Can you agree with that? Because it's half a sphere. But you have now added another surface to it. So you're going to say plus pi r squared. And again, r is the same as y. And that also equals 108 pi. Can we follow me? Okay, so 4 divided by 2 is 2. So you got 2 pi y squared plus 1 pi y squared. So that is actually 3 pi y squared equals 108 pi. Now I'm going to, because I don't have a lot of space left, I'm going to do a few steps at the same time. I'm going to divide both sides by 3 pi. So 108 divided by 3, what is that? 36, of course. So y will be the square root of 36. So that is going to be 6. Beautiful question. Now, um, before it stops again automatically, uh, let me stop the video and let's continue with this question about matrices in the next video. And if this is useful, like and share. That will be hugely appreciated by me. And uh, I'll see you in the next video where we will continue. See you.